recording. Yes, it is. All right. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Motivation Monday. Get with it. You know what it is. You know who it is. It's me, Kason. Hello, hello, hello. It is a new week. My voice sounds like poop because I'm sick for the third week. It's because the stupid weather that we got going on here. It is. It literally looks like it's the middle of December right now outside. It just came out of nowhere. And then a couple days ago or yesterday or whatever, it was, what, plus? Almost, it felt like plus 10, but apparently it doesn't like to stay like that. So we're not going to have a spring in Alberta. We're just going to go from winter to summer. Don't like it, but I got to deal with it. Anyways, this week's topic is tips on battling dysphoria and I'm gonna do my best to give some pretty good tips because I'm just gonna speak off my experience and how I deal with it and we'll go from there but um, the main one I guess I should say what that I have is my upper body so when I look in the mirror I don't necessarily see what I want to see yet, but I've been going to the gym a lot and working out and you know, I know it takes time and that's also, that's that's a, that's a huge thing. Um, like a, a tip, I guess, as I slide into it, is what I think is that I know it takes time, so I just have that in my motive, in my head. It's re constantly replaying in my head. It takes time, you put in that work, you work hard enough at it, it'll get there. Plus, waiting for uh, the doctor to call me with this top surgery thing is killing me. But I do pretty good with without keep with uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's take that back. Let's rewind that a little bit. I do pretty good with uh, not thinking about it. Like I've been working all the time. I have my girlfriend. I have her daughter. I have a lot of things that actually keep my mind off uh, waiting for that call. But sometimes when I have a call that uh, a number that calls me and I don't know it I'm like oh maybe this is it maybe this is it but I don't get my hopes up I don't get too worked up about it um but I was actually uh telling my girlfriend today it's just like I can't wait for my my pecs to be actual pecs because they're still not that yet but sometimes I get deep in my head and I'm just like oh like why can't everything happen like all right now like I guess in a little hit another one about me is my uh, bottom half like the bottom surgery that's a really that's a that that's another one for me with that I, I struggle with because I get enjoyment out of using a packer and I get enjoyment out of using a strap on because I that's 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 where I plan to go with it. I plan to have a penis. I plan to get the full surgeries and everything. But I have my days where I get, I guess I'm a little shy. And I wish that I could stand up and take a piss. And I looked, I personally look down there and I just, I, most days I'm not happy. I guess, I guess on a regular basis, I'm not really happy with what I see down there, but how I deal with it is, like I said, I just constantly have it in my mind where it'll come, it'll happen. Not everything happens at once, not everything. You can't just snap your finger and it will all happen today. Boy, do I wish. Boy, do I wish that I could, but it's not going to come the next day or maybe even the day after that. But I do my, like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to ramble on a little bit here. But uh, I guess all in all, my tip for you guys is don't beat yourself up. Don't try. I, it's easier said than done. Don't let it ruin who you are, I guess. Don't let it ruin your day. Just, just know it'll happen. Your day will come. Do your best to just take your mind off of it. Or if you can, like I do especially for my bottom half I just I I I put my packer on and I'm I'm pretty happy with it I'm not gonna lie so well I don't have one anymore I used to I gotta go out I gotta get a, another one I don't really know 
what happened to the other one, but, or what happened with it. But yeah, no, if you have those, if it helps you, if you're using the packer helps you use that. Um, tips for about like dealing with your top half, yeah, just in, in, in all general, just hang in there, <laughs> just hang in there. I feel bad because I don't really give big, like I'm, I, I don't give good tips, but I hope that helps you with what I do to help myself. Maybe that'll work for some of you guys. I'll go give, give it a shot. Try it. If it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't, if it does, there you go. I helped you. All right. I'm going to give my voice a break because I don't sound that good. I look good, but I don't sound good today. And I'm going to go eat because my girlfriend is making dinner. We're having turkey ground beef. No, turkey ground beef. I don't know if that's how you say it. Turkey ground beef? Yeah, okay, anyway, turkey something. But we're having wraps or burritos with no lettuce, which I'm kind of upset about. But yeah, yeah, it'll be good. So, hope you guys had a good Monday. I hope you went to the gym. You don't have to go to the gym every day, but you can do push-ups and stuff at home. It's Motivation Monday. It's a new week. You're with me all day. I'm going to do my best all day. But if I don't see you this weekend, I see you next week. Good night. I love you. Bye-bye.